Debbie Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, L076508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done When you're in need and don't know where to go Pick up the phone and call mom Hi, I'm Debbie Marcoux, host of Mortgage Mom Radio. Well, what is Mortgage Mom Radio? Well, I'm an education and information program about all things real estate. I have Heather Barkley with me today. How you doing, Heather? I'm well, how are you? I am great. Heather is on my team and she is actually our resident real estate advisor. Heather, you've been licensed in real estate for how long? Since 1996, long time. 1996, but she is now on my team and she Mm -hmm. is doing loans. So no, we are not coming (laughs) after you about taking your home or putting it on the market. But why are we contacting you today? So we are contacting you because your home has been identified uh, as having a notice of default filed against it. So as our resident real estate agent, I'm Mm going to let you explain Mm -hmm. what is a notice of default, Heather? A notice of default is filed by somebody who, whether it's a bank, a homeowners association, somebody that might have a lien, a second loan, a third loan on your home, or a HELOC on your loan, which is the home equity line. When you have something like that filed against the title of your home, they have some sort of of loan or something with you. Um, Home association a little bit different. But if you miss payments to them, generally after that third missed payment, they will issue you what's called a notice of default. That notice of default is a paperwork that tells you, hey, you've missed your payments, you need to bring them current. Sometimes you'll get calls from your lenders or the persons before, but um, that letter lets you know that you are in default and you do need to come current. It is a public uh, notice. It is filed with the county. That's how we find it. If you don't bring your notice of default current, your missed payments current, the lender could or the entity could file a notice of trustee sale against your property and take that property to sell it foreclosure. Right. And typically, you know, in, in most cases, yeah. it's 90 days from the time that you miss your first payment. Mm-hmm. And then it's from the time that they notice of defaulted. It's about 120 days from the time that we see it go to notice of trustee sale? It could it could vary. Usually it's about uh, 90 days, you'll get your notice of default. About 90 days after that, um, they'll issue a notice of trustee sale. Generally, they will issue the notice of trustee sale within 21 to 30 days. Um, you usually can postpone it once or twice, which could take you to the 120 days. They really try to get you current on what it is that you have in default. They will give you every opportunity. So why are we even talking to you about this? Why are we explaining this? Well, it, it's basically to make sure that you understand the urgency behind why we're contacting you so one thing to keep in mind is that if you've received this notice of default it is public record that's how we know that's how we got your contact information and that's why you got this message from us however you could have already rectified this you could have been one of the millions of people that were in forbearance or in deferment with your lender uh, during the pandemic and you've already rectified this and they are in the middle of you know pulling back that notification that they would have sent so please if If that's the situation, move on, ignore us, and don't (laughs) think about anything further. However, if you are one of those people that did get that notice of default, please understand that this is not going to go away. This is very serious. If you just ignore your lender and you don't reach back out to them, you will end up in a situation that you are not happy about. So what are we doing? Why are we bringing you this video? Well, we'd like to invite you to a workshop that we are putting together. As I mentioned, Mortgage Mom Radio is an educational and informational show show. We are bringing you information about mortgage and real estate, and we are an independent third party from your current mortgage lender or your HOA. We have no affiliation whatsoever. Our goal is to make sure that our listeners have all of the information and education that they need to make the decisions that they need to make. So what are some of the options? How can we save your home? How can we keep you in that property if you are in a situation where you have received a notice of default? So number one, first thing would be pick up the phone and call your lender. And we're going to talk to you about that and when you call and what do you say and give you those that tips those tips and that information about that number two what's another option 
Um, if you've called your lender and that doesn't work out, maybe you can qualify for a refinance. You know, maybe that uh, loan is, has a higher rate or, you know, something like that. Or maybe you need to do some cash out, get some of those bills paid off so that we can get your overall monthly debt paid down to where you can afford and you're not going to have an issue with making your payments anymore. Right. And of course, with us being lenders, that would be the situation where we can look at your information that day personally, one on one, mm -hmm. and let you know if there are options available for you to do a refinance. We will also also have a hard money lender there. He will be able to let you know if there's a position or a possibility of taking cash from your home if a refinance with us is not an opportunity for you. But last but not least, we are also going to have some home sale information available as well. Our goal when you walk out the door from that workshop is for you to be fully educated and understand what all of those opportunities are for you so that you can make the best decisions for you and your family. So speaking of selling their homes, yeah. let's talk about some of the things that we've already started to put together for them for that day. Mm -hmm. We've talked with some of our preferred realtors and we have worked out like pre-negotiated um, costs as far as you know the realtor services and escrow services. We're really really trying to keep as much money in your pocket as possible and help you out and you know maybe you're not one to negotiate or you wouldn't even know how to take that on. We have taken all the guesswork out of that and really negotiated the lowest fees that we possibly could for you. Yep. So reduced commissions if you do list your home with a preferred lender from our team. We've uh, we've already negotiated reduced costs as far as the escrow is concerned. So that's going to also keep money in your pocket, as Heather said. Uh, we're going to have real estate agents there who can help you quickly to understand uh, what your property's value is. So they will do a competitive market analysis for your home right here and then during that workshop. We will also uh, be able to put together a spreadsheet for you to show you what kind of money that you will walk away with if you were to sell your home. So again, our goal is to try to give you all of the options that are available, keep you in your home if that is at all a possibility. And if it is not, then also help you to determine what it might look like if you do sell. And last but not least, if you sell and you have to move, then we want you to be educated as well about your credit. Can you buy again? If you sell, how much cash will you get? How quickly can you purchase? How fast can you get another loan? Those are all things that are very important for you to understand. And with those real estate agents being there, they would also have the opportunity to look up some rentals mm -hmm. in your neighborhood to give you an idea of what kind of rents you might have to pay. So one more time, we're just bringing this to you because we want to help. We want to give you the information that you need. And we want to be that, pe that person that educates you in what your options are. If you'd like to RSVP for this event, it is very limited. There is no way that we could have a very large group of people here and give you the information that you need, the one-on-one -on -one attention that it will take if the room is too big. So please do not hesitate. Please RSVP today. All you have to do is reply to the text message or the email that you received and let us know that you'd like to RSVP. You will receive a phone call from either me or Heather mm -hmm. personally, and we will give you the time, date, and location. It will be on June the 4th, but we will make sure that it is something that you can attend or make sure that we provide you with a Zoom link so that we can do a one-on-one -on -one free consult with you in that way. So we hope that you enjoyed it. We hope to see you soon. We hope that you make it and that you do reach out to us for all of the information and education that we can provide. We hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye.